गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाटर पॉल्यूशन दिस विल बी द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज वाटर नाउ स्टूडेंट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस दैट इज वाटर पॉल्यूशन ओके सो फॉर दिस वी हैव टू स्टडी वाटर पॉल्यूशन इन टू थ्री हेडिंग्स दैट इज वॉट इज वाटर पॉल्यूशन वॉट आर द कॉजेज ऑफ वाटर पॉल्यूशन एंड हाउ वी कैन मीजर और प्रिवेंट वाटर पॉल्यूशन so these are the three headings under which we will discuss about water pollution now let's begin with the very first that is water pollution so in this heading you have to study what is water pollution or which kind of water is said as polluted okay so for this you know water is a very useful substance in the nature but water of rivers ponds etc is being polluted due to mixing of undesirable chemical substance water which is not suitable for drinking and other domestic use is termed polluted water and hence water and hence is the term raised that is water pollution what i am saying suppose students there are lakes there are rivers so the water among them the water present in them got polluted due to mixing of undere- undesirable chemical substances that is that may be wastes from uh, factories or human uh, waste whatever kind of waste is there so they mix with the water and make it pollute okay and this water is not suitable for drinking and other domestic use that is why it is termed as water pollution now students let's talk about the very second heading that is causes of water pollution here i have written only the two cause but you can uh, make note of it and uh, try to answer in your own way so here i have written only the two that is human human is a major cause of water pollution how he, uh, human pollute water it is man throw rubbish everywhere okay we just throw rubbish everywhere this rubbish flow with rain water and make nearby water polluted very second point that is industrial waste so waste is from industries our main source of water pollution what happens the waste from industries are sent are thrown into rivers and th- that uh, just went into the sea okay so this movement just goes on that we used to pollute our water every time okay now students as water is polluted so and we also know the cause from which water gets polluted uh, there are many more causes that uh, people uh, wash their animals in river wash their clothes in river okay now let's talk about measure to prevent water pollution what are the measures through which we can prevent water pollution so for this suppose uh, we have talk about the industrial waste so we should not throw industrial waste into river or sea okay the second one is the domestic animal and clothes should not be washed on bank of river okay we always used to wash our animals or clothes in the rivers so uh, this should be prohibited the very last that is harmful chemicals from industries waste should be treated and removed first many of the times uh, people say that where should we throw them if we should not throw them in rivers or seas then where we should throw them so we you should firstly remove the chemicals or the harmful effect of chemicals then you can uh, throw them in water or you can utilize that uh, the waste in further activities also okay so students this is all about water pollution now let's revise what we have studied we simply studied what is water pollution and i studied this in three topics that is what is water pollution what are the causes of water pollution and what are the measures to prevent water pollution so students thank